Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a time. This is a time, the appointed time to favor Zion. If I would put it this way, to favor Anchorage. If you want to put it simpler, put your name to favor Abigail. This is a time. Hallelujah. Are you receiving his word? Isaiah 61. Verse 1 to 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison door. Rebo Sekerea Ephrata. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And the day of vengeance, vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion. I encourage, remember, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes. We stop here. The time to favor Zion is now. Amen. Amen. The time to favor you, me, is now. And we see, we've been hearing about time, time. And there's an opportune time, which we learned before, and it's called Kairos. Do you remember this opportune time? And this is the time. We will pray tonight. There will be a couple of prayers as we go on. I want you to, 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 to jack up your feet. And receive it. Pray it and mean it. And the Lord will do what only him can do tonight. Lord, let me discern. Let me recognize when the opportune time comes. This is our prayer tonight. Can you just say that prayer in, in a second? Lord, let me recognize it. When the opportune time, when the Kairos time comes. Let me be able to recognize it. In the name of Jesus. Have you said your own prayer? Have you said yours? You know, Rahab, the lady, she recognized the time, the opportune time, when she saw the people of God coming to spy. She, she decided to take her opportunity and used it well. And God came for her. And today she is in the lineage of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I will recognize the time. I will recognize the opportune time. I will recognize the careless time. We are talking about the neglected one. That is the title of our today's sermon. The neglected one. Are you the neglected one? This is our question tonight. Are you the one that has been forgotten about? There's conclusion already made about you. I can imagine what they say about Rahab at, in those times. Oh yeah, she's there. That's where she belongs. Not only Rahab's story. There are many other stories in the scripture, for whom many neglects, people have underestimated, people have neglected people because of one thing, because they see this about that person. Are you the neglected one? Are you the neglected one? But tonight, the owner of your soul, the lover of your soul, the beloved one, the one who paid for you, has not forgotten you. He does not neglect. He does not like neglect his creature. His love, his, his desire is for all to come to him. His desire is for all to love and to come and receive his love. 
And that is what's going to happen tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is set to favor us tonight. He has given us the word for the month. In the previous month, we see testimonies how the word for the month have blessed us. And we are still counting. They are not done yet. Can you give clap unto the Lord? He is the Lord who walks. No man can stop him. When he is set, I just there at the corner. The favor of God is locating you tonight. In the name of Jesus, the favor of God is coming your way. Then how can, how can you receive this favor? How then will you get this favor? I invite you to the place of intimacy. I invite you into the place of familyhood, if I may say. Come to the Father. Amen. If you're watching on the screen, I invite you to the place of favor. It's in the place of the Father. At the Father's feet, come to the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. It is a place of intimacy. If you haven't fallen in love with Christ, please just say yes today. Lord, I've been hearing about you. And I want to give you a try. I want to give a try. I want to just experience what you're able to do. His arms are open. His arms are open wide. Come to the Father. And if you are the one saying, I'm already with the Father and I've been praying, but I haven't seen the change. I haven't seen favor. Tonight it's coming your way. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are labored and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God does not want labor. That's why he wants to give you favor. So you don't trouble, you don't do anything that needs to be done to get one thing. It just comes. When you go to that door where you've been shot before, when, where you've been denied before, it just opens unto you. That's the favor. That's what the favor of God can do. That's why we begin with open, open up. Open up every channel of my spirit. Be open tonight. Let them be open in the name of Jesus. No matter where the situation of life puts you, do not lose intimacy with God. You cannot get the blessing and deny the blesser. It cannot last. Whatever the world gives is just for a moment. You will still need it. He is the well that does not dry. He is the fountain that does not dry. When you drink from him, you don't trust anymore. That is what he promises us. And we are enjoying him. Please join us in this train. It is good to trust in him. It is good to be in this train. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Remember Zacchaeus. The, the whole community knew him as a sinner, tax collector. He takes people's money. But he knew he needs something. He knew something is missing. There's money everywhere, but one thing is missing. And when he heard about the lover, our God passing by, he hastened, he ran, he put everything away. Don't let anything stop you tonight. Don't let anything, not even your height. Karayandabosh. He went up and Jesus saw him. Oh, Jesus' heart, I can imagine how he, his heart melted that day. Oh, this guy loves me. He wants to see me at all costs. And Jesus, see, some things that can just position us to the place of favor with God. And even though the people were against that, Jesus did not mind them. 
Oh yeah, he's coming with me tonight. I'm going to dine in his house tonight. Do not stay there. Do not remain there where they have put you. He is this, he is that. Do not remain there. Come to the place of intimacy. Come to the feet of the Father. His favor is here today. Hallelujah. The prodigal son was in, in the life of abundance and decided to leave. We all know the story of the prodigal son and decided to go have some fun outside. But he tasted something else and decided to come back. Some of us are in this situation of a prodigal son. And if you're the one, your place is there, come back. He's, he's there with his arms open wide. Please come back to the place of intimacy. Come back to the Father. Come back to your place. His arms are open. If you neglect your place before, this, this one is not a community neglect. They are not calling you a sinner. You have put yourself in that situation. You decided to leave. If I'm talking to you tonight, please come back home. The Lord is waiting for you. His favor endures forever. His goodness is unto all generations. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Some people's family think they are no good. And they just, um, okay, you go take care of the sheep. And David is in this position. Every day he goes and that's what he does. But one good thing about this guy, he goes with his harp. He goes ready to worship his father. And in that place, he, he make an altar. He has intimacy with his father. And doors of nation was open. He was enthroned because he was able to take care of some sheep. He was able to love them. And God gave him a nation, the favor to rule a nation. That favor is here tonight. Don't put yourself in the place of pity. Oh yeah, nobody loves me. They just send me there. Okay, and you find some people who will cry with you. Don't mind them, they are wicked. That's what they do. They just send me out and um, put me there. No, don't put yourself in that place of pity. Bow before the king and you will not bow before any man anymore. Amen. Worship the king. Worship him. Wherever you are, worship him with gladness. He will give you the key to kingdoms. He will open doors unto you. That is a specialty. He wants to see how faithful you will be there in that little place. Amen. Hallelujah. Is God talking to you tonight? Don't look at me. I, I can't talk to you. But let God speak to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. We have some other guy. He's called Obed Edom. And there's Uzzah. In the book of Samuel, where the, the Ark of Covenant was being brought back. And David desired to have it back in the city of David. But something happened. The ark stumbled and Uzzah tried to help the ark. Can you help God? Can anyone help God? He is our helper. In his right hand is power. Sometimes the favor of God makes it look like God is partial. He hit one and spare one. But tonight, the positive one, the spared one, the loved one is you in the name of Jesus. 
the, the ark went to the house of Obededom and he was blessed. That is favor. Whatever it, it looks like. Maybe people will say God is partial. But whatever it looks like, that is yours tonight. That's your favor tonight. That's your favor tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is anyone receiving? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I will give us one more instance or two. When the status, when people demarcate people because of status and neglect some. But the favor of God bring them to the place of same status because they need him. And I'm talking about Jairus and the woman with the issue of blood. In the book of Mark, let's quickly see that. Mark 5, 21 and um, 22. And when Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered about him and he was beside the sea. Then came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And seeing him, he fell at his feet. An issue brought Jairus to the feet of Jesus. But he is a ruler. Everybody will respect him, right? Everybody will give him compliment. He's a ruler. But something brings him to the feet of Jesus. Let's look at 25, verse 25. In the same scenario, Jairus called on to Jesus, Please come with me. My daughter is dying. She needs help. And Jesus was on his way there. This is a catch. 25, and there was a woman who had, who had had a discharge of blood for 12 years. Can you see what connects Jairus and this woman? Jairus' daughter is 12 years, and this woman has issue of blood for 12 years. Who knows if they were, maybe she was diagnosed in the same hospital, the same day Jairus' daughter was born. Because both were 12 years. But they both meet at Jesus' feet. Even though she wasn't allowed to come. This is where I want you to be. To, 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 to grab tonight. This woman was asked not to come close. You stink. Please don't come close. This is not a place for you. Jesus is on his way to Jairus' house. Don't come close. They, they, they push her away. But this woman... Knowing that this man is the solution I need. Proposed in her heart. If I can touch the hem of his garment. And she struggled. She struggled. She reached out. She pushed them. Imagine the strength of a frail woman. The strength of a weak woman. And all you have to do is say yes Lord tonight. You're, you don't need to make any, any, anything, any, any physical move. Just say yes, Lord, tonight. And the favor of God is yours. And this woman was able to make it. And that faith moved Jesus. And grace left him. That's the favor. She received favor that day. And she was made whole. He pronounced her healed and, and whole and cleaned. He is cleaning you tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We receive your cleansing tonight. We receive your cleansing tonight. We say yes to you, Lord. Are you saying yes like Mary? Mary said, yes, be it unto me according to your word. And she is also called the favored one. Favored people of God. Are you saying that today? Be it unto me according to your word. I receive your favor. Be it unto me according to your word. 
and the Spirit of God will overshadow you and you will blossom and you will come out great and you will move mountains. You will testify unto the glory of God because the Spirit of God is overshadowing you tonight. Are you receiving this tonight? The Spirit of God that overshadowed Mary, He is here. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. He is here tonight. He's going to overshadow you and every mountain, everything that does not bear fruit will, come, will begin to bear fruit in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's okay. You know, the Bible says, God is with the lowly. He, he's, he's more with, with those who are, are troubled. Wherever they push you, in your place of work, they keep telling you, you are no good. You try your best. You see, every day you don't sleep. You do overwork, over, over, over time work. You take work home. But yet, they don't see anything good about you. Stay put. Stay in the place of intimacy. The favor of God is upon you already. You will go back there and take the ground. You will go back there and take your place. And you will be sitting in the presence of your enemies with your tables decorated, with your table, feasts full of food. You will dine in the presence of your enemy. The Lord will prepare a table before you in their presence. Favor leads to take over. In the book of Esther, if you read the book of Esther properly, you will see favor, 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 favor. And the Lord favored Esther. And, and uh, sorry, and the king favored Esther. And Esther says, if, if I find favor before the king, and you will see favor, favor, favor. And what happens at the end? They took over. Favor leads to take over. Be ready to run. And take over with the favor that is coming upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. The favor of God is not just for you to eat and get fat. It's for you to take over the kingdom. It's for you to take over for, Lord, for the Lord. It's for you to take over the kingdom of God tonight in the name of Jesus. Nehemiah went before the king and asked, if I may find favor in your sight. And favor gave him the opportunity to build, to take over, to build. Favor builds. Hallelujah. Whatever has gone to ruins in your life are reviving. They are rising up tonight in the name of Jesus. Psalm 44 verse 3. Favor helps you to possess your possession. Whatever the enemy has taken away from you, you're possessing them back. Are we in Psalm 44? Can we see Psalm 44? Psalm 44, 3. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them. But your right hand and your arm and the light of your face, for you delighted in them. Another verse said, for you favored them. Another uh, version. Amen. It will help you to take over, to take your land, to possess your land. I am going up. I am going forward. Upward. 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 Upward movement. Upward movement. Even though the darts of the enemies are flying, I shall not be afraid. The Lord has favored me like a shield. The Lord has clothed me with favor. Do you know what? The enemy knew that Job was favored. He was surrounded and he says to God, it's because you have clothed, you have surrounded him. You have protected him. The Lord can protect you 
favor you around and no harm of the enemy can come close to you. That is your portion tonight. In the name of Jesus. In what area, whatever is the area you're looking up to God. Whatever is that thing. Whatever it is. You can believe God for it and you can receive it tonight. Because his power is here. His power is here. The living water, the river of life is flowing tonight. In the name of Jesus. The place of influence, favor can place you there. To, play, to, to rule over the land. We have seen it in this place. Have we seen it or not? We have seen it. The Lord has lifted our members and he's still doing more. In the book of Acts 7, quickly, uh, verse 9 and 10. Acts 7, 9 and 10. And the Petrarchs, jealous of Joseph, sold him into Egypt. But God was with him and rescued him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom before Pharaoh king of Egypt who made him ruler over, over Egypt and over his household. I told you before the favor of God can make someone jealous of you and they will think who is he? Why is he? Why, why, are, they, why are they giving him everything? You just pretend you didn't hear and go lift your hands and give thanks to God. Thank you Lord. Yahweh is for us, right? Yeah. Yahweh is for us. Our Father, He wants to make us the best, the enviable people, right? He wants to make us enviable people so that the people will come and ask, how are you doing it? Tell me about it and you will bring them to God. He wants them to be jealous and ask you, are you going to that mountain too? Have you visited that mountain? And you will tell them no. I have Yahweh in my room. I commune with him, my father. We talk in my room. And this is how you can come to him and you bring him to God. This is what God wants. So he makes you a point of jealousy for them. Hallelujah. Take yours tonight. Don't live here like they've been saying things. I haven't seen it. Maybe it doesn't happen to me. No. If God can do for one, he can do for all. He was going to Jairus' house, but the woman with faith stopped him. He didn't plan for her. If he can do for one, he can do for all. Hallelujah. Have you received yours tonight? Let us stand up and praise him. Arise and praise him tonight. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful, you are faithful. Whatever you say, you will do. Whatever you say, you will do. Faithful is your name, Lord. We worship you, Lord, tonight. Maso kegede yandabas, likrebo shekede yandebosa, rekele yana maso kedeya. Just worship him tonight. Just give him praise tonight. Just give him praise tonight. Thank you, Lord. If you've been neglected, praise him. Because he sees you in that corner. If you have been underestimated, nothing good is coming from this person. Praise him. Come to him and tell the world that something good can come from me. Because I'm in Christ. Because I'm in Christ. Come to him tonight. Father, we thank you for what you have done tonight. There are some people here tonight. And they've been wondering. How can I go about this? How can I do? What can I do? The solution is here. Jesus himself, the fixer, the solver, the mender. 
just bring him bring it to him tonight if you are in him already just stay put this is a word for somebody if you're already in him if you're in love with him if you are his child and yet you haven't received the open door just stay put hang in there hold on to him and see him bring you salvation and see him bring the doors open tonight for you if you are that person shout hallelujah tonight praise the Lord Father we thank you we give you all the glory because in you we live, in you we move in you we have our being there's nothing that can be withheld from your children. There's nothing that can be stopped from your children tonight. We give you glory. We worship you.